Good morning, YouTube friends. I hope you're doing well. I am here to show you my little RV that I bought, and I bought it. It's not intended to live in. I bought it to create a art workshop. So originally, I was gonna buy something that I can restore, so I can restore it my style. And since it's not, since it's not intended to live in here, I didn't plan to have a kitchen. But it is what it is, and I bought this one, and it's already, it's really cute. It's really tiny, but like I said, I'm not gonna live in here. I'm just going to use it for my art work. I bought a property. I'm not gonna disclose the location because I don't want it to be discovered. It's up in a hill, mountains, pine trees, really, really beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's the site. It's just very beautiful. Well, I like it. Um, some people may not like it. Well, I'm planning to place my little RV there and then come on the weekends and and do my artwork. And I know I'm not... I stopped drawing a while back, but this is the way I am going to grieve um, my son and try to focus on art, try to focus on nature. And I really enjoy being by myself now. Um, and I think that's why I really like this place that I bought. I have no neighbors and I'm just surrounded by nature. So stay tuned and you will see my little location I bought. Everyone, so this is the area. This is just one of the sites where I bought my property where I'm going to place my art workshop. So here you go. I really, really love this area. Like I said, I don't want to disclose the area because of the fact that that's the whole point I bought it here. So I can be isolated and I don't want to have a lot of neighbors. There's probably only like 10 families that live around this area. Everywhere I go, every angle, there's a view. I, I have to walk to it. It's not really like where my property is set, but. really love this wilderness I'm here by myself no neighbors this is just another little section I love the fact that there's a lot of trees and in between the trees I'm gonna place my art workshop it's a vintage RV but my favorite part of my land is the trees <laughs> that's my favorite part Look at the beautiful trees and obviously once I'm here I'm going to water them so they're going to get really nice and green. And I'm actually surprised because even though it's in an isolated area, I have two water lines running underneath my property. So in order for me to install water, it's just going to be another $10,000 which is not bad because if I had to install the water meters, then we would be looking at probably twenty, twenty-six thousand dollars $26,000. So today we're gonna clean up. We're gonna clean up the area where we're going to place the the art workshop RV. The RV workshop. <laughs> the RV art workshop. <laughs> okay, I hope you like it. There's a beautiful pine tree up there. It looks like a little Christmas tree. Let's see if I can show it to you. This is where I'm thinking of placing my RV in between this tree. See the empty space right there? And this tree here. find the little Christmas tree. Well, I call it a Christmas tree because it's shaped perfect like a Christmas tree. And I don't see it because it's not this one. Oh, I just love it. Where's my little Christmas tree? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I think it's all the way over here. 
and later on we'll go for a walk so you can look I think it is that one I thought it was prettier last time I came by okay here we have a few more trees need help I think I'm gonna have to hire some people to come and clean up flatten some part of the land to put my RV and maybe a greenhouse I have to buy some of those hiking boots. There's snakes around. As I'm walking, I'm finding a lot of um, snake skin. Uh, they shed their skin, so I've been finding a lot of that. And in this area, when it rains, it actually creates a creek. And I'm sure it looks very beautiful once it starts snowing. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off because I'm filming and I might fall down, okay? Look at those beautiful rocks right there. Now I'm going downhill. And look, this is kind of creepy. It's a really steep road and narrow. So down there you can see there's a community, there's homes. But up here, like I said, there's probably like only like 10 residents up here. And they usually just come on the weekends. They have cabins. And I'm nearby all the utilities, so. Like I said, considering that it's all the way up here, isolated, I'm actually surprised it has water meters. 